and we are back and we will be casting the final round final set of today's Singapore vs Australia friendly Australia is going to need all five of its players to come out victorious if it wants to come pull out ahead in today's international friendly with Singapore holding a four game four set lead over Australia at this moment uh, although if you think about it, I mean, it's definitely way better than last year. Oh yes, <laughs> at, at this least... point we were we had a we, at, a, at the point of the last round last year we were already out of it. Yeah, I was zero. Yeah. I was already zero three and like oh, I think they offered they offered to put me on stream and I was like nope, I'm not getting wrecked on stream. <laughs> yeah, so uh, technically I think all all things considered, this was a pretty uh, even match for no, yes, Singapore definitely. and Australia. Of course, on, on stream it may not look that way. I believe Singapore yeah, Australia both... has gone one three. No, only Wilson yeah. coming out here in the last yeah. set we saw. But this set will be played between Phil Nguyen, also known as Boom Guy, a uh, very well known player around these parts, even in Singapore, since he did come down last year and yeah. crushed Wang's <laughs> dreams of a paid invite. To be fair, I didn't need it, I didn't need it. Yes. But. And he will be playing against Emil Ng, who has been who's been on hot streak who has been on a hot streak lately. Yeah. He has won two of the last three Premier Challengers. I think he's he a similar thing to what he's using today. I think he's also uh, done pretty well in the Malaysian tournament. Yeah, he did well in MSS season. and kick out the PC as yes. well. But he's found a he's found a sweet spot in the meta game with yeah. his team. Yes, and here we see a uh, Boom Guy's team: uh, Groudon, Zernia, Smeargle, Star Raptor, Kangaskhan, and Cresselia. Well, Emil is bringing his Emoga, Groudon, Bronzong, Lopani, Kyogre, and Smeargle. Emil's team is a very fascinating work of art, if I, if I would be able to call it that, because <laughs> it's a team which carries literally every single form of speed control. That exists. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Wait, it has Tailwind? It has Tailwind or Yoga. Oh, 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 okay. I see. Um, yes, and we see uh, he has very unorthodox choices. Apart from the dual primal, most of his mons are not really that bulky or stable, one might say. The problem, of course, for Emil is that barring the likely fake out from uh, Lupani, he doesn't have any other reliable priority options, which means that Star is kind of free to fire off a full power. Final, Final Gambit, Gambit off if he chooses yes. to. Yes, and we see that Phil seems tends to be a bit more stable. He has Cressida, he has Kangaskhan, and of course there's always the Smeargle to still mix things up a bit. And if we are, if we are assuming that the Scarf is on the Star Raptor, then, then the we are assuming of course that the Snatch is on the Smeargle. Smeargle. Yeah. So the question is, what item does Emil run on his Smeargle? Which could be the difference here because, yeah. of course, out of this entire team, the Sash is most likely on the Smeargle, because none of his other Pokemon really want to be carrying the Sash. Maybe the Emoga, but again, you're not using Imoga for offense, so you're probably putting uh, your points into bulk. So Imoga probably not making the best use of the book focus sash. So and then, well, we're going to start a game, so we'll start to see what the two players decide to go and go against. I mean, go against each other with. I mean, they already probably have heard about uh, what each yes. other is using. Yes, of course, Imoga has a slight advantage there because we are all in the same building right now. Whereas Phil, assumably, is in a different place from the rest <laughs> of his fellow Australian <laughs> roster. Yeah. Imoga does lead with the Lopani and the Groudon, so a fast pick out on the field. A fast pick out which will threaten the Kangaskhan, of course. Not mention that even the Mega Evolves is probably going to outspeed Kangaskhan and can probably OK KO it with low kick if it wants to do that. Yes, no, but not after the Intimidate from not the start. Not after the Intimidate. Uh, not, uh, quite an unorthodox choice for uh, Intimidator, all things considered, because uh, I think most Star Raptors in the previous times that we've seen it usually run uh, Reckless. Mm, I think that was only a short fat sparked off by Ashton Cox. But he did bring Adamant, Brave Bird, yeah. Adamant, Reckless, Star Raptor, all the way to, I believe, a 9th or 10th place finish. World. Yeah, but that was really a one-off thing because Starter really wants to be, uh, or in this format at least, he wants to be either a support mod and either you turn out or fire off the final game to pick off something crucial. So if the Starter is scarfed, actually, Emil is not in a very good position here. Starter, I believe, max HP sits at one eight five, which will mean he is actually capable of taking out the Garden in a single. Yes. Hit. So, I mean, if he, if but, he, but th uh, the other question is that Phil doesn't know whether that's a fast or a bulky Garden. That's so I don't really know what he wants to blow a final gambit into a garden. He might just go for the final gambit onto the, the low pani. He doesn't need the final gambit with low pani. Yeah, trade for the low pani. And actually, so if you think about it, uh, Phil's in a, a much better position than yes, Emil is in right now. Not intimidated. Star Raptor threatening both things on the field. But if if the Star Raptor is not scarfed, the low pani actually has a speed advantage and they can pull off that. The pani can fake off the Star Raptor regardless. Yes. But then you leave Kangaskhan open, which is always a very dangerous prospect. Especially since Kangaskhan outspeeds Groudon, so. Then we are assuming that there is a max speed Kangaskhan, of course. <laughs> but then again, we don't know how fast Emil's Groudon is either, so. Judging well, we will find out this turn. Yeah. Well, no stitches actually. Lopani chooses to stay in. He really needs to fake out the Star Raptor to stay alive. Either though, he's going to have to call that the Star is going to final Gambit and. Actually, yeah. Right? He needs to. Mega Evolution on both sides. So Phil not wanting to risk staying uh, in the non Mega form to take a fake out. We'll go with Mega Evolution. Is it possible that we'll see a double fake out this turn? 
that's possible. But actually, no, Groudon goes for the protect. So Lopani might be going straight for the low kick here. But then if it goes. But actually, Nose goes for the fake out onto the Star Raptor, Star Raptor. bring his HP down, and probably now bring his HP below 180. So oh, Groudon will be a, enough. Then, so in this instance, the fake out protect play actually was a good play. Yes, actually. So, oh. <laughs> for once, <laughs> so I'm not a big fan of fake out plus protect, but that certainly panned out well for Emil there. But now, but in the but now Emil still cannot uh he still cannot pull. Emil off can encore the Kangaskhan here. That's true. Uh, and we and I guess that's why Phil is switching out his Kangaskhan. He probably thinks that. Yes. The so he kind of forces the Braver onto the Lupani this turn, but no, actually Lupani, the, the the it is not a scarf Star Raptor, and the eruption will come off. And barring a focus sash on the Star Raptor, Star Raptor will be going down this Star Raptor has no focus sash. Oh, actually, it has been broken anyway. What am I saying? Yes. Star Raptor will go down without revealing its item. So it well, it is not think, it is not choice band regular yeah. since we saw it in the yeah. But I, so what is that Star Raptor running? Is it like a tailwind set, a support tailwind set? I suppose it still could still be a fast support Star Raptor. Just but just didn't account for yeah. Lopani being naturally faster than so now, Raptor. So now it comes to the question of what Phil is going to do. I mean, he still has Kangaskhan, he still has Griselia. And he has to fake out here. And you would assume that Lopani does not carry a protect. So you can't... So, uh, you know, Emil can't just double protect to but stall if he fakes the fake out. out. The, but if he fakes out the, the Lopani, can, uh, can, uh, the Groudon can just go for the Eruption, which will probably yes. take on Kangaskhan and Griselia. So Emil doesn't want to go for the, uh, the Eruption here because, you know, fake out onto either amount yeah. to ruin that play. Actually, no, fake out onto Lopani wouldn't mm, ruin that play. <laughs> Right, so Kangasan will go for the fake out. Onto it goes the into the Bronzong. So are we gonna see a free low kick here? And we do yeah, see the low kick, kick goes into Kangasan. But and minus one should not be enough to KO the Kangaskhan. The Chris Sire, yes, room will go up I just in time for Bronzong I to fire off gyro yeah. balls. You know, if you think about it, Emil is completely reading Phil's place at this point of time. Definitely. Phil probably be being a bit too obvious with the trick room there. And probably I think actually no, I think Phil kind of gambled on Emil not bringing the trick room option. Yeah. Especially, but to be fair, Emil seem Yeah, you're right. It does, does look a Emil bit tends to Emil tends to Emil tends tends to focus on one mode. So Phil gambled that he didn't bring the bronzong in this game. Unfortunately for him, the bronzong is here under yeah. trick room is gonna be able to fire off the gyro balls. I suppose Phil is now trying to go and like bring in his own Groudon, gets back some momentum from the from Emil's uh, Lopani and Bronzong. But at the same time, I, I, it does feel like Emil is in kind of an awkward position right now because... Gyro is not going to do much damage this turn at least, so... Phil yeah. has bought himself a bit of breathing space. Of course, if the Crusader happens to have... Low kick into the Groudon. What? Minus one, Groudon is still taking 120 base step attack. Bronzong will reverse the trick room. But the Crusader used trick room as well. But it looks like Crusader did go for a trick room as well. So we are back at neutral. Both players going for the big place and Actually, we are back in a trick room situation. Yeah. Actually, now, uh, now that... Bronzong, uh, now that uh, Groudon is in trade room, I, I was, I mean, I would assume that the Groudon is a trade room Gra Groudon. It's probably going to threaten the... the Crystalia is actually the slowest thing on the field. So Bronzong not as slow as you would expect it to be. What? As uh, either that Bronzong, Bronzong went for the trick room again. Oh, Bronzong actually, yeah, actually, yeah, Bronzong did go for a trick room again, hoping to survive the Brasbis Blades, which it does not. But Lopani did. Lopani hangs on. Well, Lopani is not weak to ground. Yeah, I suppose, but... And Lopani does get the encore off into on the Crystalia. Which is actually a pretty good move for for um, locks it into gravity. Yes, but oh no, but mental herb. Oh, uh, mental herb stops that in its tracks. So inform in information for email to bring into the next. Uh, although, game. if you think about it, right, uh, most dual primal teams usually will have a fast mega and a slow mega, a slow primal and a fast primal, right? If he brings in his Kyogre right now, do you think it's possible that it's slow enough? Oh no, but well, he given that email, right given that email went for the uh, trigger blade there, you would assume that his own garden is slow. That's true. But 180 basically. Which is what Emil guessed as well, which is why he was trying so desperately to reverse the trick room. Is 180 base HP max HP it's No, no, that's 5, that's um, 4, 8, that's 36 HP EVs. So you kind of wonder what's, what's he doing the rest of the EVs if that's the case. Well, Precipice Blitz, it's not going to be KO barring the helping hand boost from Cresselia. So Groudon kind of in a safe position here, but if the helping hand does go off then. Oh, no, no, I think. He, uh, Phil choosing to double into Groudon instead. Actually, no, I've been going to finish off the opening. Oh, it's the same result. Yeah. Because he will get a single target yeah. Precipice Blades off. If he, uh, so it really depends on who's faster. Oh, actually, no. Phil going for the safe play of the Substitute. Oh. And giving Emil a chance for a free Earth Power. power. And I think go into the sub I think and this waste his own trick yeah. turn. I think in this situation, Precipice Blades would have been a lot better for Emil because it would have taken out the Chrysalia at the same then time. Then again, does Emil carry Precipice Blades? We've seen two special yeah. attacks so far. Do you think that he yeah and now he brings out the the Kyogre? 
Alright, Kyogre will change the weather into the rain. Though, again, you would suspect the Crystallia does have skill swap. Yeah. Although, but, but the Kyogre's HP is also quite huge at this point of time, so all we know it could be... Yeah, that is Max HP Kyogre, so definitely uh, email slower option on this team, the Kyogre. I'm not sure that Ice Beam will actually take out the ground on this health, to be honest. It, I mean, even, if assuming there's a three room garden on field side of the field, it's yeah. gonna be bulky enough to take the ice beam definitely. But with the with the addition, but with Crystal, well, the attack off though. Right, we I do mean, see the skill swap come off. So I mean, that's a legit, just a, a kind yeah. of obvious play there. But again, Phil really has no other reason, to, no other play to go for. He could have gone for the helping hand precipice blades, assuming that his Groudon is the slowest on the field. Yes, but that's a very dangerous assumption to make. Yeah, but he is the slowest thing on the field. Or maybe that's a speed type. Well, nobody will know. Groudon should hang on as it does. As Water Spot will go into the sun, unfortunately, but Earth Power should pick off the Groudon. So, you know, kind of hedging his bets a bit. Yeah. So, but even Trigum if the Skill Swap did come off, he was going to be able to get the KO. But Trigum is going to wear off soon, so, I mean, the Kangaskhan is still going to come in, and Kangaskhan is easily going to take down these two Pokemon. Uh, as especially with Fake Out. I mean, Fake Out and everything will be keep on stalling out the turns, and Kangaskhan is probably still. Going to be able to suck up put both of them and then suck a bunch of range already. But Crystal can't kill Ice Beam with Ice Beam. It could kill the Groudon. I'm not too sure about that. Crystal is a special attack. Up, special attack up has always let us down over the years. What would what would? Oh, well, Fika will come out onto the Kyogre, presumably. Yes. I was assume that Emil went straight for the. He should go for the Earth Power onto the yeah. Fungus Khan, hoping to survive the Ice Beam. Will he be able to help? I don't think he will be. I don't think he will. Uh, yeah, he does go down to the ice beam. So, so Cristela does come through for Phil there, and that should be enough to steal the game for Phil. Phil with the sucker punch, yes. even if the speed was in Emil's favor. Despite uh, the, the fact that Phil was actually actually started off on the wrong foot yes. in this whole match, he actually manages to pull it back together. I think that was due to mostly to the stability of his Pokemon. Definitely the the play to reverse. To reset Trick Room on the turn, Emil tried to reverse it. Definitely played out in Phil's favor. Yes. There's a huge call to make since if he miscalled it, then he just does his opponent's job for him. But Phil always does tend to go for the big plays. Yeah. yeah. We've seen it backfire on him, of course, when he chooses, yeah. to, when he chooses Power Punch himself and his yeah. opponent goes for the attack. Yeah. But, well, that's the game Phil plays, so this time it pans out for him. And the best of three, he just needs it to pan out one more time. In fact, I think the now fact he that can make even greater gambles. Yes, and, and the fact that now that Emil's already down one, that actually puts Emil in a pretty bad position um, in his mental state. He might not be willing to make all the big plays that he should be making in order to get uh, Phil off off edge. Well, it could argument could be made that Emil was going for a big plays previously. Yeah, I guess. Like trying to reset the trade room there because if he had the Kyogre, which he knows is slow, he could have just played under the trade room right from the start That's instead true. of trying to reset it and wasting turns doing so. So do you think that Emil trying to make big plays and Phil making big bigger plays was what? Caused the um Phil gave Phil the momentum to win. Definitely, Emil wants to get uh control the game a bit better. Like he lost to Lopani a bit too easily there, since Lopani was really the one thing to handle Kangaskhan. But at the moment he set up trade room, it became very hard for Lopani function for him. Yes. So, I wonder whether Phil uh whether Phil and the Emil are going to. Yeah, because the other thing being that he brought Bronze on to counter his opponent's trade room, but Bronze just did nothing. Yeah. So, so he maybe could obviously switch the Bronze out for. Perhaps the smear girl already. But to be fair, Emil's yes, we do see the smear girl come out. But to be fair, Emil's team is a bit uh in terms of offense, uh, most of his offense is generated by the Groudon and Kyogre. He can't really do much apart from those two. Yes, he's that's what the old primal teams are. Generally, it's four, it's two primals and a lot of support options, <laughs> which is and it's one way to build a team, of course. But mostly, you see players opt that usually you carry at least one more offensive slot. Particularly, most teams like to carry one slot to handle Kyogre better. Yeah. But again, there's no Kyogre on Phil's side of the field, but Emil just not getting enough offense done with his Primals alone. And we see that Phil actually leads his Staraptor and his Kangaskhan, obviously not thinking that uh, he needs to change his leads at all, whereas Emil goes for the Smear Goal. Uh, now, I have this suspicion that... I, I, if this is the Smear Goal that I think that Emil is running from way back in Malaysia, I have a feeling that might actually be the Scarfed one. Though again, how much advantage does he, does he get out of the Scarfed though? Because Lopani is at minus one. So if Lopani is forced and Lopani is Lopani has to call the fake out here as well. If Lopani fixes out the Kangasan it stays non-mega, which Phil is perfectly capable of doing if he, if he you know if he's really feeling it. <laughs> then he gets absolutely nothing done this turn. He fixes out the Kangasan, Kangasan fixes out the Smeagol, Sardar gets a tech off, and that might be game right over right there. So the fact that the Star Raptor is there is actually making it very, very difficult for Emil to do much of anything. Yes. The, the easy play here is to fake out the Kangasan, hoping it mega evolves as well, and then get the Dark Void off. 
Yes, that's that's. that's but the, and the Kangkan does mega evolve, so so I still mean, not going to go <laughs> all the way in on this turn at least. And the safe play here will be the fake counter to Kangas Khan and Dark Boy. So the miss on the Star Raptor. Big play, big play, big plays. And he goes for the fake out on the Star Raptor. But, uh, but again, no fake out from Kangas Khan. So did Dark Boy land on the Kangas Khan? All the big plays are coming out. And, and no, no Star Raptor avoids. Lands on the Kangas Khan. So that might actually be good for um. From for I mean the main threat was from the Kangaskhan. He if he dark voice again the start does still going to go to sleep. It's That's this again he needs to roll eighty percent dice though. Yeah. And the and he doesn't really want to keep Smigo on the field as long longer than he needs because he really wants to go off the field to get an offensive threat on the field. Unless he manages to go and take out the Kangaskhan with the Lopani slow no, kick. Minus one. Mean. Two turns I think he, he can do it in two turns. And with the starter asleep for one turn, he might be he's he's definitely going to be able. He kind of has to yeah. The thing is he has no choice. Whereas if he had put both of them on to sleep, then he's free it's to see the Smigo out yeah. for the primal. And start generating a lot more offense. That's true. That void is going to avoid the starter once again. Oh wow. As low kick will bring Kangasan into the red, but starter free to attack, and we're about to find out what the starter has up its sleeve. Star Raptor going for the tailwind. Goes for the support, tailwind. Support, so support, support Star Raptor. Again, removes the threat of the scuff, but if Kangasan sleeps for one more turn, it might not matter. But in the first place, uh. Lopani is actually base 115, if I'm right. So regardless, it's going to outspeed both Star Raptor and Kangaskhan, right? Not after Tailwind. Not after Tailwind. Oh, that's true. Lopani is sitting on base 135. So Lopani is sitting around 210, maybe? Hmm. Whereas no, Kangaskhan, 205. Rather. Whereas Kangaskhan would be sitting at... Kangaskhan is now sitting at 312. <laughs> so... Not exactly the matchup. Well, like 334. 167 times 2. I so, see, I see. Yeah. Emil recognizing that, but keeping his mega on the field, hoping to finally get the die wide off on that damn Star Raptor. But if that's the case, the Star Raptor, if the Star Raptor attacks, he's going to lo risk losing his Groudon or his Smeargle at this point of time. That Star Raptor goes for the Brave Bird. Into the Smeargle? Will it be enough? Without the Reckless moves? Into the Groudon, the actually. Hoping to catch the no, hoping to KO the Lord. If the Kang's can waste up this turn, oh, oh Kangaskhan stays asleep. And Dark Void, for the third time of asking, will attempt to put the Star Raptor to sleep, which it does. But, it, but now Kangaskhan is going to have a high chance of waking up the baby. He's, he's going to wake up next yeah. time. Yeah. Guaranteed. So, I mean, if the. I guess in the way uh, Phil but has it, a bit of a. Yeah, the thing is what Emil has done here. And is the start the is the Lumberry. So, Emil just spent three times putting a Pokemon to get Lumberry. <laughs> <laughs> well, Very at, unfortunate. At least now we know why Phil was leading with the Star Raptor yes. the entire time. So, a Lum Star Raptor to counter. Specifically, counter Smegel, in fact. With Tailwind and Lumberry. So, most players use things like Togo Kiss and Crobat for it, but. Phil hope opting for the Intimidate and Star Raptor. Groudon protects. Can you see the double edge into the smear smear to get rid of the smear girl, not wanting to deal with any more dark void rolls. I mean, in a single hit. Even though it's, it's just the opening moves of the battle, I think Phil is in a very, very controlling position here. And I think Emil's And Kangaskhan did not go down to the recoil, yes. unfortunately. And we, we do see the final gambit coming out for the Star Raptor, so this is actually very difficult for Emil, isn't it? I'm not sure the final gambit. Hmm. I think the final gambit is just about enough to KO Groudon. I know. Just, just, yes. just about. And, and, and if it tails Groudon, then I mean, well, Lopani is back on the field and presumably Kyogre is the one in the back. He still has to deal with uh, with potentially Groudon and Xerneas in, in the back. Hmm. I'm not in the least sure if he actually needs Xerneas in this matchup at all. Yeah, that's true. But Goes for the Fika onto Star Raptor. So now he's no longer in final gaming kill range, but Double should pick off the Lopani. But that comes to the question, so what the Groudon... Do the Groudon, Groudon will not go down. So no, eruption, no, no, eruption at four yeah. HP. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Goes down to the recoil. Um, oh, power is be can't hit Fire Star Raptor. So flamethrower. Flame eruption. He actually goes for the eruption. Anyway. Maybe he doesn't if have like, any other attack. Yeah. So a uh, uh, four base power eruption going off there. Well, at least Can we Peter out. So start Lopani will, will be back reclaim to the his position at the first thing I feel. Yeah. And without the threat of Kangaskhan, he's not threatened by fake out. But now so. Cresselia is on the field at the same time, so he he can set up trade room for his own Groudon and, uh, and presumably in the back. Yes. So, regardless, I I, I feel like Emil is in the very. Well, Kick needs to be able to kill Star Raptor this turn. If he can't, then feel then uh, Emil is pretty much. Even done. if it takes out the Star Raptor, Groudon comes and trade room is up. Emil is pretty much in the very bad position, especially since we know that his Groudon ba it seems to be. But if Groudon comes in first, then he forces Phil to have to go for the skill sword play. Which removes the threat of helping hand. Oh, but Loki is not enough to bring down Star Raptor. That should be game for Phil. Yep. Uh, in fact, Star Raptor, I, I, despite looking like a really fat butt, <laughs> and in the anime, it looks like a really fat butt. Don't know as fat as Dino Flame in the anime, as we pointed out. I, I don't know why they, they always draw the birds very fat. But not fat enough to go down to this low <laughs> kick. Astridome does go up. 
I, I mean, without the need for Garden to come in this turn, so actually, the weather will be fixed yeah. as sun. Yep. So I think Phil has pretty much uh, sealed this game pretty convincingly. Yes, the speed control option is not really working out for email here. Perhaps could have tried the Emoga to spread paralysis, but chose not to do so. Perhaps afraid of the Garden. Mm. So, unfortunately, it didn't quite pan out the way he was looking. And the thing about Emoga is that. Imoga always runs the risk of just getting directly when he killed by the final gambit. That's very true. In fact, I think Phil, Phil pretty much took down the entire team without use of his own primal or, or oh, oh, his, any of his restricted mods. For yes, that matter. he just goes. He it was basically just Star Raptor and Kangaskhan carrying the entire game. Yeah, and Phil recognizing that he had no need for Zenith in this matchup. I'm not against a Bronzong, against a Groudon. Chose to just stick with the, a very solid support core around the Groudon, working wonders for him. Yes, uh, I guess that's exactly why Phil. Despite how much we might resent it, him for saying this sure. sometimes, he is the best player in the APEC region. So no. <laughs> yes, Theron, it's your own fault for <laughs> losing three sets in a row after beating Seijun. <laughs> or you would have finished above Phil, but nope. Phil is, as we, as we speak, the highest ranking player in the APEC region. Shows it here, definitely, for commanding. He manages to see exactly what Emil's plans are, and he manages to adapt his own team to, to fight it without um, doing stuff like using Pokemon that are too... without relying too much on his primals. A very strange play though, there though. Because basically open his Groudon up to free damage and Groudon you're coming for free. Perhaps he's, uh, he, he, he didn't want the... And Groudon is his only offensive you know, option there. That's so true. So is it a possible? Very dangerous play. I think he's, I suppose he, he's just going to go for the helping hand of his blades here, but a miss... And we'll probably yeah. Oh, I suppose you still need a crit from either Loki or Ice Beam, even if the Blade does miss either. So I think he is just going for the Helping Hand Precipice Blade play, uh, play. I mean that. So the question is, is it a speed tie between the Kyogre and the Groudon? Oh, Trick Room Ice Beam. That's oh yeah, true. that's true. It doesn't have Helping Hand. Brazilian goes for Precipice Blades. He's going to land on both Pokemon. Will it be enough to KO? Lopani? It won't be enough to KO. Lopani does go down. Uh, Kyogre hangs on. Oh. I think Lopani might have hung on there, honestly. Lopani not as fair yeah. as it is, it, it's yeah. bill suggests. Ice Beam will go into Groudon, he needs a critical hit here. Does not get it. And of course, Pokemon yeah. cannot be frozen in the sun. So I think Phil still wins. Yeah, Gravity Press a bit blitz here, she'll steal the set for Phil. Yeah, if Emil's uh, Lopani, Lopani could have hung survived. on there, yes. The Groudon will be dead, and then uh, it will have just been a Kyogre free to use a water attack against the Cresselia. Yep, so unfortunately for Emil, the critical hit sealed his Lopani's fate, and Phil will take a 2 0 victory over Emil and keep Australia's hopes alive. Yes. Are they, are they alive? <laughs> so I, I believe that Australia just. <laughs> I do believe that. Uh, so, from a commanding position in around four, Singapore has apparently dropped all of its sets, and the fate of both nations now rests on Reuben versus. <laughs> Reuben? <laughs> what a turn of events! Yeah, I, I guess this, this just shows exactly how um, closely, even, how, yeah, how even evenly matched the countries are. I guess Australians are really desperate not to lose to us, so... What? <laughs> I'm... Equal, equal fast modified and amused. I have no idea. Yep, so Riven are playing against Malcolm to decide the fate of this international friendly. With both countries tied 14-14. Eh? 12-12-12. No, no, Alright, so we will bring email on for... Yeah. <sighs> so, you holding the Imoga plushie, does it does it does it mean that you think you should have brought Imoga that set? Well, since he really he, he really did well in preserving his Groudon for the end game, so you were probably able to spread Nazo early in the game, I think. The problem with this 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 team is that actually my team started out as a trick room team, mm -hmm. but eventually I decided to for more speed control options I try I would try like a hybrid kind of set. It didn't really play off this time because his team as well had multiple options. Had multiple options, and not only that he he played his options pretty well. Yeah, the, the Staraptor in particular. The the Staraptor exerted a lot of pressure on my team. I kind of wasn't really sure what to do with it because uh, I knew it had final gambit and I didn't want to lose any of my Pokemon to it, and the intimidate also. Yeah, you threw off your Lopani's calcs especially. Yeah. 
This will be a very, yeah, very tough matchup. As I said, this, which is why I think you tried to reverse trick room in game one, but he yeah, but the he, play perfectly and, yeah. and just flipped it back. Again. I, I, I actually remember there was one game I did that with uh, another game I played. I also had had that kind of matchup. I, I did a double trick room <laughs> to reverse it as well. But yeah, it's pretty good play. It's risky though because if had I decided to double protect that turn instead of yeah, yeah, he would have just reset the trick room for reset, you. Yeah, which I was considering doing to stall out the trick room, but I thought. Uh, never mind. <laughs> so I think that the biggest thing he, thing he did was he, he noticed that you had the anti Xenius option, so he just chose to leave Xenius at the back. And yeah. leave it at home, not bring it at all. Yeah. And I think you brought Bronzong in game one to try and stop the Xenius. Because there was no Xenius, your Bronzong pretty much just didn't do anything that game. I, th I thought minimally I could, I, I could, I could reset trick room. Trick room yeah, but definitely. <laughs> but apparently that's not the case. And I tried skill swapping. I, I was thinking of skill swapping, but I think I wasn't fast enough to play around the skill swap as well. Yeah, so and because it's a physical Groudon, the skill swap doesn't, doesn't really help me that much. Yeah. Hmm. I suppose giving yourself... Oh, you are heatproof, aren't you? Yeah, I'm heatproof. Yeah, so <laughs> not able to get levitate to your car. But, he, but he has... He has, he has, uh, he has gravity, gravity, he has gravity yeah, he has as well. As well so, so it's not redundant either. It's kind of redundant. I actually... I've contemplated using, uh, using, gra using uh, levitate quite a couple of times. But so far I found that uh, heatproof actually plays a lot better. Especially since you carry your own gravity, right? I Do don't carry gravity. You don't, you don't carry gravity. But I know that a lot of Groudon teams actually carry gravity. Yeah, so you will negate. And on top of that, most of them are not going to risk uh, trying to kill my Bronzong with a key blades if I want to set up Trick Room, for instance. Mm -hmm. So they're most likely to just overheat me or fire punch or something like that. That's what's the main value in Levitate. It's not so much yourself, but the ability to give it to your Kyogre. True. Uh, but like you pointed out, because there's so much gravity running around anyway, yeah, it's that it's value becomes a very, very much reduced. Yeah, and gravity, uh, gravity is a, is a double-edged sword. I get, I get hit by, I yes. get your 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 bronzer will get hit by it as well. Yeah, uh, but uh, and it doesn't really benefit me as much. Actually, I used to run a gravity t tailwind team. Yeah, because you're using a special garden. So but yeah, gra full gravity special. is not as much of a factor for you. Uh, but I had, I had a, pre a lot of pretty fun matchups against Australians this time. Um, um, some of my matches were, was trolling them quite badly actually. <laughs> Like I, uh, like I was running a, a garden with hidden power eyes, so I, I killed a couple of elements with it. <laughs> yeah, we did Steve Wilson pull that out in the uh, previous game as well. Yeah, I thought it, yeah. So and and I think I think one one of, one of the other Australians tried on tried to do a substitute on me and I just encoded it uh, like using Lopani. Oh, using Imoga. Yeah. yeah. So my team, my team is actually generally more reliant on disrupting. And yeah. But but for Imoga, I, I think Imoga ep epitomizes that. <laughs> but options. the the, pro the thing about it is that if for a trigger team, right, I don't taunt, I don't carry taunt. Mm. And uh, as I found out also that he's mental hurt. Anyway. He's mental hurt. Yeah. Uh, I I tried using uh dark void to kind of since I already knew it wasn't it wasn't lump berry or something. But then you you, did, you didn't know the Sarato was lump. I didn't know the Sarato was lump. On top of that, the uh, the dark void kept missing. Yeah, it's kept missing the Sarato. <laughs> so yeah. you, you spent three turns trying to dark void a Pokemon that turned out to be lump berry anyway. That yeah. definitely was a, a very huge setback for your momentum at least. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> all right. So good game to feel. But I think I think it, all the way at the end there, I believe the Lopani would have hung on for the press miss place, right? Uh, yes, yeah. it might have hung on. So because I done I done calculus before. It's a small chance of actually hanging on. Mm. So the crit kind of sealed deal for you there. Yeah. So there was a chance of bringing it to game three. Unfortunately, yeah. that's just the way the dice rolls. And yeah. Good luck. Good luck to Ruben. <laughs> We're trying to keep our country's <laughs> hopes alive. Well, I I think it's a pretty good. It's still a pretty good matchup. All right. Yeah. So I believe Ruben is playing a game two, with him ahead one nil in this set. Oh. It's the other way around. Eh? Oh, Rivers actually losing 0 1. So the hopes of Singapore rest on his shoulders. If he drops this game, Australia will take this international friendly By 13 to 12. Close back. With a stunning <laughs> round 5 5 nil <laughs> sweep. And we will put that on stream if it happens. So if Riven loses, then that is game. And Australia will be the winner today. Right, so we will stream game 3 if it happens. So stay tuned. But barring that, we will be on hand to announce the results once they are ready.